Vortices are common in our atmosphere. Hurricane or typhoon is one type of vortices found in our atmosphere. A non-rotating frame is not rotating with respect to an observer who is at rest. A rotating frame is rotating with a constant angular velocity, and the observer follows this rotation. We are all standing on a rotating frame, which is the Earth. Balance of different forces produces vortices in a rotating frame. Two important forces involved here are Coriolis force and centrifugal force. As the observer is rotating with the frame, a moving object should have curved motion due to the constant angular velocity of the frame the observer is standing on. This is called Coriolis force. Also, when we are on a rotating frame, we don't experience centripetal force. Instead, we experience a force in opposite direction. This apparent force is called centrifugal force. Conservation of angular momentum makes the tangential velocity much larger at the center of the vortex than far away from the vortex. We are going to illustrate the balance of forces in a vortex in both rotating frame and non-rotating frame. First, prepare a cylindrical plastic bucket of about 30 cm in diameter and 50 cm high with a 1 cm hole in the center. Plug the hole with a stopper not too tightly so that it can be released easily later. Then, place three upside down 100 ml beakers in a square plastic container on the rotating table. Put the bucket on top of the beakers. Reposition the bucket so that the hole in the bucket and the center of the square tank are coincident with the axis of the rotation. After that, fill the bucket with water until it is 7 over 10 full. Dike the water to produce a better visualization of the experiment. Set the table into rotation with a rate of about 10 revolutions per minute. Wait until the system reaches solid body rotation. After the system reaches solid body rotation, add several white paper dots at different radii from the center. Unplug the hole carefully. Make sure to reduce unnecessary disturbance to the system itself. We can observe that the paper dots swirl around many more times before exiting from the hole at the center. Paper dots far away from the center move much more slowly than the paper dots near the center.
Now, repeat the experiment with no rotation. We can observe that the paper dots move directly to the center of the bucket with no swirling motion. Compare the two situations. From the above experiment, we can see that the trajectories of the paper dots are different when the bucket is rotating and not rotating. It means that the flowing direction of the air parcels are different in a rotating frame and a non-rotating frame. Let's consider the bucket as the lower atmosphere and the paper dots as air parcels. When there is no rotation, pressure gradient force causes the air parcels move towards the center in a radial direction. However, in a rotating frame such as our Earth, pressure gradient force balances with centrifugal force and Coriolis force. Rossby number describes the ratio of centrifugal acceleration to the Coriolis acceleration. At the location far away from the center of the vortex, Coriolis force balances with the pressure gradient force. This is called geostrophic balance. The value of the Rossby number is much smaller than 1. Now, we look at location near the center of the tank. Due to the conservation of angular momentum, the tangential velocity of the air parcel is much larger. The angular momentum is proportional to the product of radius and tangential speed. Since it is much closer to the center, which means the radius is smaller, the speed would increase correspondingly so that angular momentum would stay the same. That's why the tangential velocity of the air parcel is much larger near to the center of the vortex. The pressure gradient force balances with the very large centrifugal force due to the large tangential velocity. This is called cyclostrophic balance. 
the value of the Rossby number is much larger than 1. At a point with moderate distance from the center, the contribution of centrifugal force and covalent force are similar. Both of them together balance with the pressure gradient force. This is called gradient ring balance. The value of the Rossby number is approximately 1. Besides that, in all of these cases, a small frictional force bends the direction of the movement of the air parcel, thus forming a swirling motion. In conclusion, when the air parcel is closer to the center of the vortex, the tangential velocity is larger. The loss B number is also larger when the air parcel is closer to the center. Pressure gradient force balances with the Coriolis force away from the center and the centrifugal force near the center. Our experiment demonstrates the phenomena in the northern hemisphere. Can you figure out the situation in the southern hemisphere?